Dear Acorists, greetings from the south of Spain. Today, our fish disease case number 76 about the goby. The goby with a special name, Sikiopus. Uh, uh, I share you my screen to explain the, the scientific name totally and explain you the diseases we will find on this fish. Uh, the goby is called Sikiopus exalisquamulus. Wow, what a name. Exalis quamulus. That is not what we encounter every day. And also this goby is, is uh, well, it's, it's not so very common, but for the people who love special fish like this kind of goby, which is a wild collected goby, well, sometimes the wild collected ones can also have serious problems. Uh, and, and like this one showed uh, that they became skinny, so we're dying. And we found a parasitic odinium infection. This is our fish disease canoes number 76. And you see some are very skinny sitting here, separate. The one here up front of the glass, they're hungry, they're looking healthy, they don't show major problems. But in between, some are looking well, seem to be having a problem they're suffering with. And that is something that I will explain in my diagnosis what we did find. You also see the gills here, which are flared gill covers which are flared open. So there's also a gill problem. That is maybe the main reason why the fish is so skinny. Because the fish becomes skinny, well, because he's not eating properly, because he's not feeling well. And when the fish is not feeling well, he will not eat properly. And he's slowly, well, getting weaker and wasting away. We found nothing special on the skin, but in the gills, we saw many black spots inside the gills. See all those black spots here. This is sometimes not clear to find what the causes are because it usually it's a kind of extra stressed gills causing a kind of pigmentation that co co collects here together. Can be by chemicals in nature. Uh, can be this. The one thing that concerned me was this one spot here. Here, look here where I point out for you, which will be examined in the the next slides. And as we see here, the black spots, which are clearly obvious, which is not a parasite, but the parasites are these, those microorganisms, one cellular parasite, one, two, three, four, we see here. And it's called odinium. It's called velvet disease. The scientific name for the freshwater fish is piscinodinium. So a few here are here. Here we see one sticking here out, so that is obvious to see. And in the video, I show you my my microscope observation when you you turn, you know, you move your your uh, microscope uh, lenses, you, you can see the different spots all over sitting on the the gill filament. See one, two, three, four, five here, all sitting here, and and, and they are sitting attached to the to the gill tissue and causing damage, causing a risk of bacteria intrusion. So this is a parasite which we can easily observe by using a microscope. And what can we do as a treatment? Well, the black spots, leave it like it is. The suffering is limited from those black spots, but it's the odinium, the piscinodinium that we have to treat because that's a parasite and it can spread quickly in your aquarium. And you have to use uh, products which contain copper sulfate because copper sulfate is about the best to cure. Just watch out when you have invertebrates in your tank or shrimp, then you cannot use copper sulfate. But copper sulfate is uh, one of the better cures for this uh, disease. And it's also available in the product Odimor from Aquarium Munster, which is a safe uh, way of treating your fish. But follow the directions because you have to retreat after seven days because the parasite has a cycle, which I explain in my videos on, on fish diseases. You can look it up when I talk about Odinium in my Patreon. I give a special section about velvet disease, Odinium, common on certain fish, and explain you about the cycle and how you best treat. Uh, also salt. Salt is an extra help to control further outbreaks of the parasite, controls the outbreak because the, the dinoflagellates to, to, to spread out, controls it's less spread out. So five grams of salt per liter, I recommend sea salt by liter, 
uh, to use for uh, during four or five days, and it helps particularly in combination with the copper sulfate. At the same time, I recommend the feeding with Dr. Basley advised food garlic. That can help. And no other food during 20 days. That can help. I also forgot to mention here, which is interesting, to use our matrine, Dr. Basley advised food matrine, which in recent findings uh, by Acarist also used on this kind of odinium velvet disease had a positive result. Of course, the matrine uh, is being used again controlling white spot disease or ache, but also has a good effect on the control of odinium because it's a skin parasite and the matrine helps to protect the skin and avoid parasites to a site, but also the garlic. So, so the garlic is a multi-use uh, product for several problems, which I explain in my, on my website. So these are some suggestions uh, that can help you to control uh, a disease like odinium. So stay tuned to have more to come on face diseases. Uh, we already had 76. So stay tuned, learn more, keep up the good work, keeping your fish healthy. Thank you.